This is going to be a pretty simple one, as in the previous video we created the procedure to update server entries. Well, in this, in order to call it from our web API, I'm going to do it through our put command. So that's going to be a put. It's going to take in an ID, and then it's going to take in, well, a new server data. So I'm going to copy the parameter, paste it in here for our put command, and it's not going to return anything. So I'm going to go to database interface, create a new function, do that below here. It's going to be public void update server entry. And the parameter that's going to take in is just like our post data, it's going to be our server data. Now, this is going to be pretty much an exact copy of our post data function. So we're going to copy the entire thing and paste it in, except we do not want to do the check and delete. So what I'm going to do is delete well, pretty much everything from that does the actual checking and delete the, of the deleting of the server entry. So I want to remove that. Remove the returns, and we're pretty much good to go. I just got to make a new command. So I'm going to copy that from our get all servers. And then we have get all server entries. So this is going to be the name of our procedure, which was update server entry. So update server entry. And now we just have the parameters that we want to pass in. Wait a second. Oh, I goofed a little bit here. I want to copy this update server entry and just paste it under our command. And set it up like so. So we only have one initial command creation. So we need to see what variables we take in. I want to open it up. And we take in the IP, server name, map name, current players, and max players. So no server ID, it's just IP, server name, map name, current players, and max players. And we're getting a user IP address from our web API itself, so we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and open this up and open Postman. Okay, you're running. Let's change this from a get to a put. Then forward slash, just any number we're not using, and it doesn't really matter. I go to the body, and here's where we're going to want to set our updated information. So currently, the information for the server name is updated server name. So we have it, the new one should be hello all. The new map name should be my map, my map name instead of updated map name. Current player should be three and max player should be five. And just to confirm, I'm going to hit refresh, make sure we're good to go, and hit send. All right, no issues. So let's refresh. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to actually call it. So go back to host controller and set our put. Create a new database interface. We're going to do db dot update server entry and pass in data. Now we run it. Right. So just test, make sure we're still the same, and send. Now refresh. As you can see, hello all. My map name three five three five. So everything got updated properly. So now that we have a way to call it easily from our web API, we can move over to our game and call that procedure. Well, call it in our web API, we'll interact with our web API to update our own server whenever we press OK to confirm our uh, server changes. So now that that's out of the way, I will see you in the next one.